सो हाय एवरीवन टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट बेसिक्स ऑफ वन शॉट लर्निंग लाइक व्हाट इज वन शॉट लर्निंग हाउ इट इज परफॉर्म व्हाट आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वन शॉट लर्निंग एक्सेट्रा सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो बेसिकली इफ यू हैव वर्क ऑन एनी रियल वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम सो द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज दैट यू फेस इज टू गेट लेबल डेटा that to in surplus amount uh, like we might be having 100 200 samples getting labeled easily but then we need to put in manual efforts to label that data hence uh, as uh, labeling data can be a big big challenge we might not be having sufficient data at any point of time now eventually uh, if you wish to perform some like if you are working with some complex data like images or text then you would be using out some sort of a neural network only and if you know neural network consumes a lot of data like they require a lot of data for training hence this problem just magnifies that how to get uh, labeled data for our problems now what to do in such situations is a new uh, stream of learning that is one shot learning so one shot learning basically uh, belongs to family of n shot learning uh, algorithms where the model can learn from a very few examples like just n examples where n is very very less so there are different types of n shot learning Uh, like these are the names that you must have heard of zero shot learning uh, now what is zero shot learning so in this the model is trained in such a way that uh, even if it is able to uh, it is um, make to see some unseen classes uh, in the test data set uh, it is able to classify them uh, for example you are performing you have trained uh, your model on some five to six samples per class uh, and your data your problem has five classes now eventually when you are testing out the data uh, the model sees some unseen class but then also it is able to classify it how is it doing it uh, following the idea of transfer learning that we would be discussing later in my uh, other videos next uh, can be one shot learning where the model is trained with one sample each from every class so if you have 10 classes we just have 10 samples in a training data set similarly two shot learning similarly few shots learning few shot learning means we have n number of samples each class Uh, for classification but eventually this n is very very low so the whole idea of n shot learning is that we have very scanty data and we wish to train out our model and how to do that this, this will be for, uh, like we would be following the idea of n shot learning but uh, now it this it comprises of one shot learning two shot learning few shot learning zero shot learning all these belongs to the same family and uh, over the internet you might uh, see that one shot learning and few shot learning have been uh, used interchangeably so uh, even though we are defining that one shot learning means we are using just one sample it can be the case that over the internet people are using n number of samples and even calling it one shot so it's a pretty interchangeable but let's understand first of all why it is called as one shot learning so basically the idea comes from uh, how does a human learns so if you have noticed like assume that you saw a giraffe some day in a zoo or in a textbook uh, now the next time you saw uh, you will see a giraffe you will be able to recognize it immediately how is it happening uh this is happening because uh human are fast learners they are able to uh, able to get the important features of the object in just one shot similarly the idea is that to develop uh, such architectures so that they also don't require huge amount of data as in case of neural networks and we can tweak these neural networks or like uh, modify certain sections so that the model is able to learn about different class in a very uh, small set of examples and doesn't require um, uh, many samples uh, now uh what if i tell you that uh, though you must have heard of like uh, we are beginning with one shot learning you already knew a few algorithms around one shot learning how is it so so basically machine learning comprises of two major model depending upon the parameters one is parametric in which the model while training learns out parameters or weights so in case of neural networks in case of linear regression you are learning out some sort of a weight uh, similarly there are non parametric methods as well where you are not learning anything uh there are no parameters or weights to be learned out so the examples are knn where like you are setting up an n which is a hyper parameter in case of decision trees where like in just one go of the data uh you are setting out the thresholds in the nodes using some statistical method using entropy and uh, gini index whatever index that you choose but eventually you are not estimating the weights you are calculating the weights so models that need to learn parameters uh, require more data as compared to the models that don't need to learn any parameters hence we can call knn and decision trees up sort some sort of one shot learning algorithms or few shot learning algorithms only and if you wish to try out you can you can take 10 to 20 samples for some classification purpose and try performing uh, with both knn and neural networks and then see whichever performs better any day knn would be performing better on such a scanty data
Uh, now uh, we have like we have talked about what is one shot learning, what different types of one shot, uh, what are different types of short, one shot learning, uh, how, what are the algorithms that we already know. Now, uh, as, like for when we will be dealing with a complex data sets like images or text, we won't be using KNN or like decision tree. So we would be wishing to apply one shot learning to deep learning architectures as well. How this can be done? So this can be done in multiple ways. We have different streams of learning uh, in one shot learning to apply uh, one shot learning methods to deep learning architecture as well. So one of the ways is to use some sort of a specialized loss functions in the model um, so that the learning becomes a bit faster. For example, contrast for a loss function, triplet loss function. We won't be discussing these loss functions now. We'll be discussing them later in my later videos. But this is just for an understanding. For example, the CMEs network, which is used for distinguish whether two images that we are feeding in the network are similar or not. So it's just an example just so you have an understanding of how deep learning architectures can be converted into uh, uh, one shot problems as well. Uh, we can also use some sort of an explicit memory or information. So it can be the case that uh, when we are uh, when we are uh, have very scanty data, we can use some sort of a prior information with the uh, with the model, and that can help us in uh, performing our uh, one shot learning methods. For example, neural Turing machines or memory augmented neural networks. It is a very very hot field uh, of study as of now. Uh, the third one being uh, we can uh, go for different optimization methods as well. So for example, methods like gradient descent that you know uh, requires a lot of data to reach to some sort of a convergence. If we can optimize, if we can go for different optimization methods also, uh, this can help us to that can help us to converge faster. For example, model agnostic meta learning. So these are all the mod examples for each of the categories that we have discussed. We will be discussing them later in my videos. Uh, I will be uh, covering all of them. And fourth one being transfer learning. So you are training your data on some sort of a generalized, uh, you are training your model on some sort of a generalized data. And eventually for depending upon the task, you are fine tuning your data over a, a small set of samples. So transfer learning can also be performed.